it's Briley Phillips here over at Phil Dill Boats. Today I'm on Yamaha's 252X and I'm going to be going over the wake booster kit with you guys. These are all the parts that come assembled with the wake booster kit. I am going to attach it outside of the water just so you guys can see a little bit better. I'm putting it on that port transom eye. I'm aligning it with the boat and then I'm going to take this silver locking pin in. I'm going to stick it in through the transom eye. And then I'm gonna take this black knob, tighten it down to the boat, and then put that T handle in. So this is how it should look like outside of the water. Again, you don't wanna attach it while you're on the trailer, you wanna do it while you're okay, in the water. There's two ways that you can use your wake booster kit. You can have your ballast bags all the way full, all three of them, your port starboard and your center ballast bag, or you can use your wake booster kit without any ballast. Um, so this is gonna be your wake booster. On the top, there's gonna to be two holes and it's gonna be for your transom eye. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up in the water. First things first, we're gonna put this floaty on. Just in case something were to happen and we were to drop it, this floaty would keep this wake booster above the water. So let me attach it real quick. Just got in the water. So now I got my floaty attached to my wake booster. Now I'm gonna find this transom eye in the back right corner of the boat. I'm gonna use this right, this right hole because it's going to be on the right side. You're going to stick it on there. You're going to level it with the boat. You're going to stick your silver pin in the transom eye hole. And then you're going to use that black knob to secure it in there. Now you're going to take your T-handle and you're going to stick it in the hole of the locking pin. To get that T-handle in, you're going to detach your floaty. And now you're ready to serve. So this is how it should look from the water. You want to make sure that this edge is completely aligned with the boat. And then this back end will stick out just a little bit. So the way that it works is the water is going to come straight through the back of the boat in between the weight booster. And then the water pressure from the jets under the boat is going to come up between this weight booster part right here and it's all gonna form together to help create that better curl. Go ahead and put, take it off the right one and go ahead and put on the left transom eye just so I can surf on that left side. Hey guys, I hope this video was informative on how to put your wake booster kit on. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to answer it. Thanks for checking out the channel at Phil Dill Boats. Like and subscribe.